In this video, I'm going to show you how you can color tint images in Photoshop. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Photoshop, Premiere, and videos on freelancing tips. So please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. Okay, let's get into how we can color tint images in Photoshop. So I have my image here of a basketball player in midair and I want to turn this colored image into a monochromatic or maybe a dual toned colored image. There's a few ways to do this in Photoshop, but I'm going to show you two quick ways that I think are really easy to apply and use. Next, I'm going to add an adjustment layer, and if you're not familiar with what an adjustment layer is, it's basically adding a new layer on top of the image that I already have, where I can make all kinds of changes to it, like messing around with color, without permanently changing the original image below it. So I'm going to go up to layer, and select new adjustment layer, then I'm going to go down to hue and saturation, and select that. I'll hit OK, and now I should have a new adjustment layer added to my list of layers. In the area above my layer list, there's an adjustment panel with a few different sliders. Underneath that, there's a tiny button that says Colorize. Once I hit that, the image will change into a monochromatic look. Now I can change the color of the picture by using the hue slider and picking a tinted color that I think looks best. Below, I can change the saturation which controls how rich or deep the color is. If I slide this all the way to the left, it will make the image black and white, and if I slide it all the way to the right, it pretty much blows out the colors. Underneath that, there's the lightness option which will control how dark or bright an image is. So that's one way of how to tint an image. So let me show you another way. I'm going to hide my hue and saturation adjustment layer, and just like we did before, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer by going back up to layer, new adjustment layer, and this time I'm going to select gradient map. Now with gradients, you can start to add multiple colors to your tinted images, which can create a dual tone or even a tritone effect. From there, if I double click on the gradient panel above my list of layers, a dialog box will pop up. Now I can customize the colors by clicking on the little squares beneath the slider and then clicking on the color box below that. And then I can adjust how much color that I want to show by moving the sliders around left or right. There's also a bunch of preset gradients that you can choose from. They come in cool tones like blues and purples, as well as warmer tones like reds and oranges. Each color folder comes with a bunch of different gradient variants, at least 5 to 10 different ones, of the same color tone. And with all these different presets, there's a lot to look through and play around with. So those are two ways that you can create color tinted images in Photoshop. What other issues are you guys having with color overlays or tinting? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and feel free to share with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on Photoshop, Premiere, or freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com and visit my Twitter page at Scott E. Fowler. Also, check out my other tutorial videos which I've posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys. See you in the next video.